all right folks how's it going it's Desketties. i'm out in the shed um in the last video i spoke about some of the lightweight stoves that i've got some of the little pros and cons and stuff that my findings with them from using the, some of those stoves over the years and what i want to share with you in this video is just one more stove that i found after that i'm not going to promise you but that'll be the that'll be the end of the sort of like the lightweight stove kind of um sort of videos all right so i'm going to quickly share with you just one last stove that i've got okay and so here it is all right now you know i spoke in the previous video about sig bottles and and the um the sort of some of the potential dangers that they used to have between using a bottle say like this which i'm going to quickly describe to you now and obviously the transier bottle with the new design at the top there now if you you know if you scratch off this paint this will pretty much look like a sig bottle all right but this is an msr one that I've had for years and the old idea was or the old um, sort of caution with them was or the danger if you like was actually if we undo the lid and I'll take the lid completely off I'm not sure what fuel I've got in here whether I've got meths or, or no I've got um, biethanol in there but it doesn't really matter but um, oh there's actually no hole oh there is there is if you can see there there's one hole there okay oh and there's one the other side as well now that was what the issue was with the old with the old kind of sig bottles because like i say people used to think that their flame was out go and put pour the fuel uh, into their stove unbeknown to them that there might be a flame there the flame catches light and if you've ever had the experience of doing it yourself i've actually done a test on it and that fl and that obviously will catch the catch the uh the fluid alight and it will shoot up shoot up and it'll it will catch the inside of the bottle okay so as going back to quickly recapping that's the reason why a lot of people now especially with transier bottles they're like that because they will cut it because it cuts out basically and you've got no you've got no you haven't got that potential issue of the flame going inside the um inside the bottle and setting the light to fuel right anyway so we'll get that out of the way so the one last thing then that i want to show you stove wise is one of the old trangia um triangle um type stoves i don't even know exactly what they're called all right in there is just a just a normal trangia burner this is just a little leather pouch that um that I put together myself. Um, Chris V asked um, about how I store my, you know, my burners away on my stoves or anything like that. And literally, I will put them in some kind of pouch. Um, and then, obviously, the stoves themselves again will be contained away in a pouch. This one is one of the good old day fryers. Okay, nice and sort of a nice flat, nice sort of neutral colour of that brown. Velcro at the top there, and then the stove is kept inside. My Bushcraft Essentials got it's got its own bag, and so on and so forth. So that's what I pretty much do with all my stoves, I, as well. Or apart from say, let's say the Hexy one, where I've got that in another little, um, another little pouch that I made out of a pair of old desert. Uh, it was an old desert camo um, shirt. All right, and now this is the final stove that I wanted to show you. Okay, if you come across these, I think you still get hold of these. On Amazon and, and places like that but it's basically a nice flat packed kind of setup you've got a number of components you've got the three walls you've got the piece that kind of holds it all together and then you've also got the two sort of bent bars um, I've had to recycle one of these in the past and use a peg um, where I lost one and it all goes together quite easy by slotting together a bit like the sort of honey stove kind of design now so it literally just clips into there That bit slots onto there. You know, I do apologise, folks, if I'm teaching you to suck eggs on this last video. All right, that slots in there like so. The only thing I do sometimes say, I wouldn't want to be putting one of these together if my hands are freezing cold. Okay, so that then goes all together like that. And then this piece then goes inside there. And then you've got those little bits there where it slots into. To keep it in place all right then you can obviously light your burner or uh, light your burner you can actually put your burner in now tip the fuel in light the light the burner and then you've got the option to obviously put these two little pieces of wire okay there and then for example i'll just use the bcb cup because that's close to hand and then that'll obviously sit on there like that 
all right so there it is folks okay so that's the last sort of stove that i want to share with you in these in this sort of little series of videos that i did on stoves and stuff like that okay so this is the little triangular triangular um i don't even know what one it is it actually was given to me by someone because they wasn't making use of it and they said i'd probably make more use of it because i do you know because i like to do the old lightweight stuff or at least have stuff compact down so and as you see you know as, as well as you can see for a compact design you know again it's one of those that could almost fit in your pocket you know inside a little pouch it hasn't necessarily got to be one like that it can be anything really any little pouch you want to make up yourself or something that you've got you know it doesn't really take up a lot of space you'll even get away with putting that in a pocket wouldn't you all right So there it is, folks. All right, I promise. I'm not going to make a promise, but I think that's the last of it now. I've, I literally, I was sorting out one of my day sacks, and I totally forgot about that little transi stove. Obviously, I don't use it as much as I used to. You're obviously a bit limited that you can only use fuel in now um, uh, with a transi burner, as opposed to you might want to put um, sort of natural fuel in there, wood and stuff like that, but you know but that's totally up to you as an individual all right so thanks for watching okay um if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do so um please check out all the links in the description please support me through my etsy store and um stay safe and i'll see you on the next video